Speaking of haters, speaking of comments, we want to introduce a new segment called Hater Hotline, where we call our haters. Norse, just wasted 34 minutes of my life. Thanks, Jake Paul. And those teeth ain't fire. What does that mean? Call him up. Hello. Oh, what's up, bro? What's good, bro? That was an opening line. <laughs> what's good, bro? Not much. Why are you butthurt about my uh, teeth comment on your video there? Oh, I'm not. I'm not butthurt at all, bro. My teeth are crooked as fuck from boxing, and honestly, I'm ugly as fuck. So I, I, I agree with you, bro. bro. I, at least you know. No, I know. I, I agree, bro. Hey, you got a girlfriend or, or are you, you single right now? I got a girl. That's fire, bro. Do you, what's her Instagram? Can I look it up? <laughs> Why? What, what's her Instagram? I just want to see. Vanessa Machado. She's private. Hey, bro, she follows me, bro. So you're... All right, so what? Bro. Oh, your, your girl is the worst on your show. You got to get rid of her. Why is this a girlfriend <laughs> fight? No offense. Hey. No offense. I, I think she has the room to improve, bro. Like, you know when you start something... And you aren't the best at it. Like, if your first day of boxing, your first day of anything is going to be really rough. So, it's their first couple of reps here. I think they can improve. But Yeah, you, what about me, bro? Do you, have any, do you have any specific, like, criticisms for how they could improve? I don't know. Do, do your research before? I agree with that. I yeah. I'll agree, I'll agree with that. So, you, you said you would never get the 34 minutes of your life back. How much do you make an hour? Like, what do you do for a living and how much do you make in an hour? Uh, I have a bike shop. I have a restaurant. I make like 10, 10K a month. What kind of food is at this restaurant, man? Uh, Mediterranean food. That's great, man. I uh, what, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to give you half of your hourly rate so you can make that 34 minutes back. Damn. What a nice guy you are. I thought you were a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I am and I'm not. It just depends what day you catch me at. Your light switch is missing a cover behind you. Anyways, let me talk to Jake. Uh, it's thirty-five dollars and forty-one cents. Got you, bro. So I'll give you. So we just did the calculations. Put it up your ass. Put it up your ass. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't need your thirty-five dollars. You don't. You don't want. You don't want the thirty-five dollars. Looks like you're wearing a fucking wig. That's yeah. fucked up, bro. We're trying to be nice. I'm good. Leave your thirty-five dollars. Give it to your bitch. <laughs> Deca, you got thirty-five dollars now. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> hey, scared money don't make no money. I'm down for all decades, and that's why you're gonna be sitting there on your granny's couch for the rest of your life. You don't make no ten bands in my bro. Get your swarm of chicken kebab cooking ass up off the screen, bro. I'm done with bro. Yeah. <laughs> Eating hummus, bro. You got shit showing all through your neck, bro. Too much fucking hummus, bro. Go get in the fucking gym, bro. Goofy ass bitch. Nobody ass. You think you could beat him in a fight? 100%. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm down to fly you out here for y'all. Let's spar. fucking go. Let's go. I wanna spar you. Fuck this nobody. No, so I, I'll fly you out here. If you can go a couple rounds with D cut, then you can spar me. I'm down. Where where do you live? Like I'm just trying to figure out where to get this flight from. Canada, from. Canada. He over there pissing his pants right now. I can't wait. I'm down to make it happen. All right, well we're gonna have this guy pull up, Norris, bro. Thank you, bro. Bro, his granny not gonna let him, bro. Yeah, I I, I know your type. You're you're a loud mouth, but you're not gonna show up. You're you're bitch made. I could tell. I've I've seen a lot of kids like you before. I will show up. I guarantee you, you don't. All my life, I will. We'll see you next week. I'm done. Woo! Let's go. Bye, bro. Thanks, bro. You're, you're entertaining, bro. Peace out, my guy. We love you. Why do you keep saying we love you? Because, bro, I love the haters. If they're commenting, if they're liking, if they have an opinion on you, then that's working. That's exactly what you want. You don't want people to just not feel any sort of way about you. You don't want people to not comment. You don't want people to not have an opinion about you because then no one cares. So you at do you at love KSI? So, no, so, no, so, no, okay. so do you love KSI? Haters are confused fans. Yeah, every every person like me needs the KSI to their story. So you say you love KSI? I love everyone, man. I do. Like, you know, like you can hate someone, but I also I also see the sides of them. Yeah, that that you can love. I think. You and can... I love I love our relationship and our rivalry. One hundred percent. Okay. There's no reason to hate people, man. I loved all the haters, though. Let's give it up for all those haters, though. That shit was the best segment ever. The hater highlight was lit.